Welcome to Ruder Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can use your Ledger device on StateMine when you are on the Kusama Relay chain. The same procedure will apply for StateMint on Polkadot. StateMine is a system parachain that is different from Kusama, and both operate on different apps. Due to account portability, if you have an account on Kusama, you also have an account on StateMine. But, for example, if you have one KSM on a Kusama account, you don't have one KSM on a StateMine account. You need to teleport from Kusama to StateMine. Unfortunately, at this stage, there is no possibility to teleport KSM from Kusama to StateMine using a Ledger device. In order to do so, you need first to have KSM on an account that is uh, not a Ledger account. It can be an account that is imported to the browser extension or directly to the user interface. And uh, from that account, you need to teleport your uh, tokens to StateMine. And uh, in StateMine, then you can use the StateMine Ledger app to um, transfer native tokens, uh, KSM, or uh, other assets between uh, different accounts on StateMine. Here we are on the Polkadot.js user interface. We are currently connected to an RPC node on the Kusama network. And we have two accounts that are injected from the browser extension. We can see the browser extension here. And these two accounts are currently visible. Currently, the browser extension does not support the StateMine Ledger app. This means that you cannot add a Kusama Ledger account on the uh, browser extension and have an injected account in here, you need specifically to add the Ledger account on the user interface, not on the browser extension. How we can add a Ledger account on the user interface? Currently, we can see here we cannot add an account. We need to go under Settings and then Manage Hardware Connections. We can see Do not attach Ledger device. We should change this setting to Attach Ledger via Web USB and uh, click Save, go back to Accounts, and we can see here, now we can add from Ledger. We can now go to our Ledger device first, make sure you have your Kusama app installed and that the app is up to date. You can verify this on the Ledger Live app on your computer. When everything is fine, you can uh, go and click on the Kusama app on your Ledger device. When you see Kusama ready, on the screen, we can uh, go back to the UI, click Add Account from Ledger, then uh, specify an account name. We can leave account type and address index as they are, then click on Save. We can see on the UI we added the Ledger account and uh, the account is under the hardware category. The UI provides now this uh, nice division where we can see which account comes from the extension and which account comes from the, uh, the ledger. In this account, we already have some funds, 0.01 KSM. Note that at the moment, it's not possible to teleport um, tokens using ledger accounts. So we cannot actually send this 0.01 KSM from the KSM ledger account on Kusama to the same account on StateMine. We will try to do so just to demonstrate that uh, this is not uh, currently possible. We go under Accounts, Teleport, we select Ledger, Destination Chain State Mine, the address is always the Ledger, we specify the amount 0.05 KSM and uh, we click on Teleport and Sign and Submit with the Ledger and we can see here the method is currently not supported. So a way to teleport KSM tokens to our Ledger account on StateMine is uh, that we can uh, use a non-Ledger account and we can send the tokens from this KSM stash to the KSM Ledger on StateMine. So we go under Accounts, Teleport, we select KSM stash, the destination chain is always StateMine, the address is uh, KSM Ledger, we specify the amount. We need to sign with the KSM stash account. All right, we can see we successfully sent the KSM tokens 
to the KSM Ledger on StateMine, we can go and switch to StateMine. We can see here we received the KSM tokens. Now within the StateMine system parachain, we can use the StateMine Ledger app to transfer the tokens. We will try to transfer from the KSM Ledger back to the KSM Stash. So we can click on Send, specify we want to send from KSM Ledger to the KSM Stash. We want to send all the funds, so we are reaping the sender. Click on Make Transfer. Before clicking Sign and Submit, go on your Ledger device, search for the StateMine app. If you don't have it, you can download it from the Ledger Live application on your computer. The same applies to StateMint on Polkadot. Select StateMine. When you see the screen StateMine ready, we can go back to the user interface, click Sign and Submit. Now we go back to our Ledger device. We can review the transaction. We are transferring all tokens. The destination is this account. And uh, the keep alive if, is uh, false because uh, we are not keeping the sender alive. We approve the transfer. We go back to the UI and we can see we have successfully transferred the KSM tokens from the Ledger account to the KSM stash. Right, this is everything about using Ledger account on StateMine or StateMint. I hope you learned something today and uh, thank you for watching.